Doesn't get much more Texas than this. Tacos and Topo Chico. Verify. Fast facts. For the uninitiated, it's sparkling mineral water that comes from Mexico. And we got a question about Topo Chico from a 20-year-old college student, so take it away, Cooper. And I'm addicted to drinking Topo Chico. I drink about four to five a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and in between, I am exclusively drinking Topo Chico. Is this okay? Is this healthy? Thanks for any help you can give me, and cheers. Is it healthy to drink a lot of carbonated water? For answers, we're looking at several research papers and checking in with Dr. Aubrey France. She's the chair of life and health sciences at the University of North Texas in Dallas. So do you have any concerns about someone drinking just a ton of carbonated water? There are no negative health effects to drinking pure carbonated water. Cooper's gonna love that, but let's dig a little deeper. Some people worry sparkling water can leach calcium from your bones. This study says that is a problem, but it's confined to caffeinated beverages. This one found very low levels of tooth enamel erosion from sparkling water. And here a Harvard professor showed sugary colas can lower bone density in the hips of women, but that's only associated with the intake of cola, not of other carbonated soft drinks like sparkling water. Where does carbonated water fit into the best way to hydrate? Carbonated water hydrates just as well as still water, as long as there's no added salt, sugar, or other ingredients in it. Dr. France ran a few numbers for us, and she said if you drink four or five Topo Chicos in a day, that could add up to about 3% of your daily recommended value of sodium. For some people, that's something to think about, but for most of us, she says, it's not a big deal. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email.